Welcome to my channel. My name is Ro. I'm a content creator, project manager, and healthy productivity fanatic. Get ready for practical tips, hands-on strategies to empower you on your journey to success in a life full of unique challenges. In this day and age, there are a million different productivity apps. And which ones are actually helpful? Which one actually help you be more productive or get more stuff done? In today's video, I would like to talk to you about exactly that. I would like to share with you my favorite list of apps that I use to help me focus and get my work done. I know this is not a brand new topic. I know there's a lot of videos out there already. So this is simply my take on the same topic. I am specifically a Windows user, so that might help and might make the list a little bit different compared to others. I do try to, however, whenever I mention an app that is Windows specific, also mention an Apple equivalent. Also, this is my specific list. If these differ from yours, that's perfectly fine. Actually, if you have an app that you would like to recommend to me, or if you have an app that is better than something that I'm already using, feel free to pop in the comments down below and let me know because I love to have this interaction with the people that actually watch my videos. I try to group apps together kind of theme wise or by the function that you use them. And I would like to walk you through all of them and kind of showcase the ones that I like the most. Let's dive right in because I'm super excited. The first category is timer and focus modes apps. So basically all kinds of apps for different devices that help you stay in focus and not get distracted. The first app is called Life App. It is a focus mode app at its core, but it also comes with a bunch of other productivity features. My personal favorite use is the focus timer together with the scenes. The app allows you to pick a scene with a video and sound that helps you focus, whether that's a landscape, a cityscape, a cozy library or nature sounds. You can use both the web-based version or download the app either on Mac or Windows. On top of your scene, you can place little widgets like your calendar, your task list, your Pomodoro timer, Spotify, and even more specific soundscapes on a soundboard. I mostly use the app full screen with a timer when I need to focus. The second app is Forest. Do you find yourself using your phone all the time while you're trying to focus? Forest is the perfect app for this. You can set a timer on your phone for how long you'd like to focus. While this timer runs, the tree will slowly grow. Every single time you try to use your phone, the, the app will warn you that an app is actually not whitelisted with your Forest app and that you will kill your tree if you try to use it. I find this to be a strong motivation to put my phone away again. The app also allows you to create rooms and have other people join with a code. This way you can focus with a group of friends and your trees can grow together. And also if one of you breaks their focus, all of your trees will die. The third one on the list is co-working streams. While a lot of people are familiar with the Pomodoro method, not everyone is familiar with the concept of body doubling, especially when using the Pomodoro method. The idea is that you can see someone else work and because you can see them work, it's easier for your brain to mimic their behavior and also do some work. This concept translated itself to the genre on Twitch called co-working streams. A stream where someone is working for X amount of time and where small breaks are taken to catch up. I host these co-working streams myself about two times a week or usually spend four hours working with 50 minutes of focus and 10 minutes of break time. Number four is pomofocus.io. If you want to use a simple Pomodoro timer widget without all the extra functions that Life at has to offer, you can use pomofocus.io. This website is an extremely simple to use tool to customize your Pomodoro sessions to fit your needs and actually allows you to add a little task list as well. What I love about this one is you can very easily incorporate the timer into your Notion dashboard, allowing you to have a Pomodoro timer right at the place where you might be working. The second category I called productivity system for the simple reason that all of these three apps are the core of my productivity system. I made a full fledged video explaining you how I use these apps as my productivity system. I'll make sure to link it up in the cards and down in the description box. But in case you want to know which apps I use and you don't want to bother with how I use them, then this is the simple list of the three main apps that I use as my productivity system. Number one is Google Calendar. This is my favorite app of choice for when it comes to appointment tracking and time blocking. A big benefit of this app for me is that you can make multiple calendars with different colors, visually indicating what tasks belongs to which area of your life. Next to that, I love that I can share my calendars with my partner and that I can import my work calendar from Outlook into Google Calendar so that I have one singular space that helps me keep track of my time. It also has a pretty neat mobile app allowing me to work on the go. Number two is Todoist. Todoist has been my to-do list app for over the past 10 years. The reason I love it so much is it has a simple user interface, yet it has some really powerful features. It can show me my to-do list in different forms. I can make labels and projects. There are subtasks that allow me to specify steps within a bigger task. I can make tasks reoccurring and I can easily move tasks around between dates. So it allows for more flexibility 
flexible planning. It also has a stellar mobile app, allowing me to seamlessly use my to-do list between desktop and mobile. Number three should not come as a surprise, and that is Notion. Notion is my note-taking app of choice. However, I always find that calling it a note-taking app undersells it so heavily, because for me, it's much more than that. It's the place where I can track all of my content for all of my social media channels. I keep track of my yearly goals and my finances. It's also where I register my trips, my memories, and the books that I'm reading. Personally, it's the hub that contains information about my life. The third category is sound apps. It is no secret that sounds or music can massively help you in your focus and actually stay productive. Earlier in this video, I already mentioned Life At and its soundscapes, but on this list, I actually have more apps that allow you to listen to music or listen to great sounds while trying to work. Number one is kind of obvious and it is Spotify. There are so many genres available on Spotify and being able to download the music offline is an absolute winner for me. Paired with a good set of noise canceling headphones, Spotify might take the crown for my most used productivity app. There literally is not a single day where I don't use Spotify. On number two is YouTube. I absolutely love YouTube because it can combine the audio with a visual aspect, kind of like life at, but then basically with any genre at your fingertips. Some days I just want to have a cozy fireplace in the back or listen to some ASMR. I'm also a big fan of ASMR videos, especially ones with soft ambient music and tapping sounds. They just help me focus right away. I do, however, know that ASMR is definitely not for everyone. Luckily, YouTube has a really big music library as well. The third one on the list might not be as well known as Spotify and YouTube, and that is Endel. Endel is a great app for iOS and Android that uses technology to create soundscapes, especially for you. Based on your location, your weather, your heartbeat, and a bunch of other factors, the app designs soundscapes for you in real time that you can then adjust to your personal liking. Because of this, the sounds and music you hear are never the same and this keeps the app super fresh. I love that this app changes with the activity that I'm doing, making sure that the sounds I hear are always a perfect fit. The last group are basically computer apps on your PC or on your Mac to help you stay productive. As a person who spends most of their time working behind a computer, anything that can help me make this experience better, smoother and more productive is a 10 out of 10 for me. Number one is the Opera browser for Windows or Sigma OS for Apple. Getting a browser that truly helps you can make such a difference. Since I'm on a Windows device, I'm using Opera browser, but you can also use Sigma OS on Apple devices. It is kind of similar. Some people have a preference towards Sigma OS and I get why, because that browser is a little bit more extensive, but if you're a Windows user, Opera browser will do just fine. The reason that I love these so much is because it allows me to set up different profiles for different areas in my life. I have one for personal use, a content creation one, and a workspace one for my job as a project manager. All of them have the pin tabs of the apps that I use most, but because they're separated in my browser, they never feel cluttered. At the same time, it saves me a bunch of time of having to open and close and reopen all my tabs. Number two is LastPass. I used to be that person who used the same password anywhere, and then I used to be this person who wrote their passwords down because I wanted different ones, but I couldn't remember them. It was not a great situation. However, then I found LastPass and things got so much easier. Since it, since it has a great app for your phone and an integration with almost any browser, you can now safely store all your passwords and quickly log in anywhere at any time. As a content creator with a corporate job, the amounts of accounts I have for things are terrible and this app saves me so much time while at the same time staying safe on the internet. Number three is Power Toys. This app is for Windows only, but great nonetheless. The app is actually made by Microsoft and comes with a bunch of handy features, like making your own default screen layouts for when using multiple apps. It's kind of similar to what we have on Windows 11, but better, and also it works on Windows 10. No matter which one you're using, I would definitely upgrade to using Power Toys. Or you are actually able to use a color picker anywhere at any given time to get an RGB or a hex code, for a color with the simple use of a keyboard shortcut. It is such a simple app, but it allows you to use your computer so much more efficiently. Number four is PicPic. PicPic combines the power of paint with a screenshot tool. It allows you to easily snap a screenshot of something, then add some notes, numbers, and arrows to it. It's free to use, which is great, and it's perfect for making notes while studying or making instructions for others. I use this tool almost daily, and it's just nice to be able to do all of those things in one app instead of having to save documents and then opening them in another app. Number five is Flux or Flux, and it allows you to do one simple thing. It changes the light of your screen from cooler to warmer as the sunlight changes for you. This helps your eyes 
minimize risk at the end of the day and it is great for someone who uses screens a lot. The reason I count this as a productivity app is because the lack of blue light in the evening helps me fall asleep faster and I feel more rested in general. All ingredients for good productivity, I would say. Number six is Flow Launcher. This app brings something to Windows that Apple actually already has as a native functionality, a good and quick search bar. The app allows you to search through your apps or the web and quickly open things. Using simple prompts, it can even look through things like YouTube and help you find a video without even having to open the YouTube website. It just speeds up your workflow, which can be a massive help in productivity. I made sure to put the download links of all of these apps in the description box down below in case you're interested in using any of these. Also, let me know in the comments down below which app is your favorite, but also which app you are actually missing on the list and you would have liked to see in a video like this. And also, if this video was helpful to you in any way, please consider tossing it a cheeky like because it does really help the video get to more people and help my channel get discovered by more people. And if you want to be one of those people that discovered my channel early on, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you want to continue watching more content, I highly suggest checking out either of these videos about my productivity system or how to make good to-do lists. And with all of that being said, have a productive day, everyone. Bye.